Hello everyone, today I'm going to solve one lead code question known as shortest bridge. This is a medium level question and uh, it was requested by a channel called code in one of my YouTube videos. So this question is uh, pretty good. Uh, it's not straightforward from the question, but actually we'll be using a very uh, popular method in order to solve it. So it's very difficult to, you know, in the first go identify that is this the method that has to be used in this particular question. But once you understand the question, it becomes very clear and then you can easily solve it. So let's get started. Uh, in this question, uh, we are given a 2D binary array A. And there are two islands so th this is important we are given initially that uh, there are two islands there won't be more than two islands an island is a four a directionally connected group of ones not connected to any other ones okay now we may change zeros to ones so as to connect the two islands together to form one island so what we have to do is we have to uh, so these zeros are water and one is island so you can change any uh, we can change some zeros to ones in order to convert them all of them into one island okay so we have to return the smallest number of zeros that must be flipped it is guaranteed that the answer is at least one. So uh, we have to find the minimum number of zeros that should be flipped in order to make one island. Okay. Um, so the example here is uh, 0110. Zero, one, so this is, I will show you uh, using the sheet. So uh, zero means water and one means land. So this is water land land water one zero okay now these two uh, green color boxes are actually island two islands okay and you can see in uh, the below two examples also there are two islands only so these are two these are two and here this is one island and this is the second island okay now you have to uh, flip these zero, uh, zeros that is you can convert any of the water to land such that what is your aim your aim is to con make one island so let's say if i am uh, if i'm flipping this particular water into land i'll get uh, so this will also become green and i'll have one island so the answer will be one here answer is one okay now in the second question uh, here, if I have to connect these two islands, how many num cells should I change from water to land? So either I can change these two cells or I can change these two cells or I can change these two cells, right? So the minimum number of zeros that needs to be flipped will be two. And in this question, uh, we are having uh, one, one, one. So this is the land island this is the island and the this is water so if you want to connect uh, these two islands if you are uh, able to flip any one of the cells so the two islands will become connected so the answer will be one okay so it's very important to understand the question first only then you will be able to apply uh, the logic so as now this once this question is clear now you might be thinking that this is a uh, sky, uh, this is the problem that we usually uh, solve for example in order to find number of connected components in order to find the number of islands so uh, what we can do is we can use the flat fill algorithm here so let's say if I am able to use flat fill algorithm in this uh, particular example what I will get is I will get uh, these two as the connected uh, component uh, these two as a two separate islands so let's say i create two data structures one is uh, x and the other is y so in my x vector i'm storing the positions of the uh, first island so what all cells are uh, uh, covered in the, as part of the first island i am storing it as part of x Similarly, for the second island, all the coordinates of the cell will be stored inside Y. So once you are able to do it, the only thing that we have to do now is we have to find the distance between two, between these two. So imagine uh, this X will contain 0, 1, 
because it is in the zero through one first column here my island is in the second row second column right now if i find the distance between these two uh, cells what i will get is 2 minus 0 that is 2 plus 2 minus 1 that is 1 and because one of the cells are included we'll have to do minus 1 so this comes out to be 2 similarly in this case what you will have to do is you'll have to store all the uh, coordinates of all the cells so you will store this 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 and so on then let's say you come to this cell and you are finding the distance then when you find the distance you will see okay uh, for this particular cell the distance between this and this is minimum only one cell so this will be our answer so while calculating the distance we'll keep a variable called minimum distance and we'll keep track of the minimum distance found so far so that will be the number of minimum number of zeros that needs to be flipped in order to convert it into a one island one single island okay uh, so this is the logic that we'll use so first we'll apply the flat fill algorithm we'll find all the coordinates of those two particular islands we'll store them in two different vectors and then one by one we'll compare each of the coordinates of those two vectors and keep on finding the distance and keep track of one minimum distance variable once um, the end, a loop is completed uh, what we'll have is we'll have that minimum distance uh, variable which will contain the minimum number of zeros that are to be flipped all right so let's get started mm. so as we discussed we want two vector of pair So this is my x and y which will store the coordinates of those two islands of all the cells of those two, two islands um, next is I want to apply the flat fill algorithm so I will loop through the vector okay um, now uh, what we can do here is we will need one vector called uh, okay we have one vector x y okay we can keep one count variable this I will tell you why we are keeping later now we are interested in that particular cell only if it is an island that means only if it is a one okay so if a of i j is equal to 1 we will first increment the count then i will check if count is equal to 1 this we are able to do because we know that there will be only two islands because it is already mentioned in the question you have two islands and you have to flip zero so that you make it into one so first i will be uh, putting an if condition for count equal to 1 and else uh, if count is equal to 2 then there will be other if condition now here we have to apply the flat fill right now in this flat fill I will pass on a a i j and x so I am storing all the coordinates in the x vector in my different uh, condition I'm putting I'm passing a i j and y okay now once you uh, get this 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 if condition is done now here we'll write the logic for finding the minimum distance okay that we'll do later first we'll now write the flat fill um, function void flat fill so the first thing is vector of integers int i int j and 
one vector of pair and we'll pass by reference okay all right now um first we'll check if my i is less than 0 or j is less than 0 or i is greater than or equal to a dot size j is greater than equal to a of i dot size or um, if my i j is equal to zero in this case i have to return why because i am not interested if that particular cell is a water and if these conditions are reached i is less than zero or, or any one of these that means i am out of that box so that is an invalid value now as it is written here an island is a four directionally connected group of ones not connected to any other one so what I will do is I will bef uh, flat I'll call this flat fill algorithm flat fill function with this value and it will be So all the four directions. Right. But uh, as we don't want th uh, that the same cell should be repeated again and again, we what we should do is we should keep on marking those cells as zero so that we do not uh, uh, if we encounter them again, we just don't go into an infinite loop. Okay now um, also we have to uh, push the i and j that is the cells right so push back and this is a pair so i am i'll make a pair of uh, i and j and push in r right now i will have in my x and y i'll have all the coordinates of all the cells right okay now I'm I'll find the minimum distance so I have two vectors X and Y now let's say my minimum distance is equal to int max I is less than X dot size plus plus so my distance will be equal to <clears throat> absolute of x of i 0 okay so this is a um, pair right x of i dot first minus y of j dot first so what I am doing is I am comparing the first two values of x and y vector and I want to do the same for uh, absolute x of i dot sec second minus y of j dot second minus 1. Okay, now if this distance is less than minimum dist. I will update minimum distance with distance and then at the end I will return minimum distance hmm all right we'll run the code and see if there are any mistakes 
okay this is accepted uh, I'll give this test case as input as well all right we'll try submitting the code okay so uh, nice so this got accepted although this is not the perfect solution as uh, our uh, runtime is uh, more like 904 milliseconds faster than nine percent of submission so this is not the best solution but yes i actually uh, when I was doing it, I did not think of uh, how efficient I how how can I solve it efficiently. But what I wanted was how can I implement use my older uh, knowledge on flood fill and uh, apply it here. So this is a very good question. Once you understand the normal uh, logic, then you can easily solve it because flood fill is a very common algorithm right um let me know if you have any questions uh, code if you're watching let me know if you have any question and uh, if the uh, there were other few uh, questions also posted by some of you i am working on them and will post a video soon if you like the video please uh, hit like button and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye